everybody, welcome to Crafty Becky Tutorials. I'm Crafty Becky, and in today's episode, we're going to be making a math worksheet printable for kids. My child is starting second grade, and he's doing really good in math, and he's learning times tables. So we're going to be making one for times tables, like multiplication. And please go ahead and subscribe to be part of the Crafty family. If you are a Crafty family member, then give yourself a big hug from me. Let's just hug right now. So hopefully you'll subscribe to be part of the family. We're gonna have a giveaway once we reach a thousand members. So this is ChatGPT, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, write 20 multi multiplication math multiplication math problems for second second graders. So now it's gonna write 20 multiplication problems for second graders. See, look what it does. It's giving me the multiplication problems. And I'm going to say, please give the answers. So now it's giving me the answer key. all the problems you know and and Brian's like so excited like he is a really sweet teacher and she's so pretty and he's just having a great time in his class so everybody's really happy this year like I'm doing well too you know we're just all a big happy family so we're gonna go ahead and make this 20 math problems I'm gonna go to, to create a design I'm gonna go to flyer for eight and a half by eleven and I'm gonna go to file Let's boost this up so you can see better. Now I'm going to go to File. And I'm going to go to View Settings, Show Margins. And I'm going to go to um, make sure the, the Show Rules and Guides are selected. Then I'm going to go to, excuse me, I'm going to go to Text. I'm going to click the little body text. And I'm going to go back to ChatGPT. I'm going to copy all these problems. And what you can also do, um, write the the problems with a with, with a um, instead of a question mark. That way you get like a line, you know. Let's see, look, that way you you don't have that you know question mark there. It'd be better. So let's um, select all that and go to copy and then go back into Canva and let's make sure it's aligned left and let's go to paste. Now we got the problems and we can go to, um, we can make it smaller. But it looks like you see how that it looks kind of confusing because there's dots. Let's let's put a parentheses after it. So write the the num numbered numbered list as one like that. No, I guess it didn't do it. Like I want like a parentheses after it because it looks like it'd be difficult with the dots, you know. Now it looks like it didn't understand. I guess this is fine. Like we could do this, or put numbers, like the numbered list. Like that might be confusing for kids. So what, what I'm gonna do, um, I might do the numbers, but I don't know. Might just physically do it. Because I'm just worried that um, that the kids might not, you know, they might get confused. Like I would get confused, like when they think it's one point, one point two or something, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and write down out the numbers. Looks like ChatGPT won't do it for me. Like it doesn't know what I mean. I guess maybe you can figure it out so that you can get this style of numbering with the parentheses after it, because that is just better when you're doing math problems. I noticed. Like I, I know that would help me if I were a new kid doing math. So we'll just you know type in the numbers and that'll help too because we're going to have another row so we're going to have like 40 problems on this page 
and that will really help out anyway. And I'll make a second row and I'm going to ask it to give me, um, right, 20 more problems. I'm going to say write the answers. Okay, so I'm going to grab the problems. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to paste. And I'm going to remove this by going to list. Just selecting everything and then going to list and remove that. And then I'm going to go do the numbering so it's 21. And there's 40. And we could do kind of like a sprint. So let's move this down and put the title. It can be like a sprint because, you know, Brian does sprints to see how long it takes. Like math sprints. It helps him with reflex. Oh, it does. Yeah, Brian says it helps him with his reflex. When he does math sprints, this is called a multiplication sprint worksheet. You can make a bunch of these and sell them on Teachers Pay Teachers or Etsy. Or you can even make a workbook on Amazon KDP and self-publish a math workbook. There's a lot of ways you can make money with this. And we can lower the size of this. We can add some more room for the time. And let's uh, add a subheading and put like the amount of time that it took and then like put some like time. That's how long that it took the kid to do this sprint. And then another line for their name. And maybe um, add some more space here, name. And then another one for like the date of the, the date that they're taking this test or worksheet. So that's the name and the date, and it's a multiplication sprint worksheet. We could just lower the size a little bit so we can have some more room. There. This will be a worksheet, and then we could um, be a worksheet, and then then they could fill it out and then we will put the score so we'll go down here and we'll put like the the score so the teacher could put what what the score is so that's how you would make a multiplication sprint worksheet for kids so let's go ahead and I'll, I'll make the answer key so this is the um, answer for the teacher you know I know like a lot of teachers automatically know times tables and stuff but just in case so then we would go and put get the answers then we'll go and get the answers so these are the answers here just um, collect everything and then here's the um, the other answers for the other column hey Brian do you think you want to do the sprint worksheet this multiplication sprint worksheet, do you think you might want to do it? 
he's like, no, I'm not doing anything. It's, it's a week. It's like the weekend. We're on Labor Day weekend. Like Brian doesn't want to do nothing. Ha! <laughs> Too funny. Yeah, you're like, what are you talking about? I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay, so this is how you would do the the sprint worksheet. Then we can go to teachers pay teachers. So this is teachers pay teachers. And I have a store here. And I sell all these stuff. You see all this stuff I sell. Like I sell math worksheets and everything. And counting worksheets. Like I use an app to make that. And um, I have like some color charts and some planners. And handwriting practice sheet. Like I have an awful lot of things on my store. Yeah, so you can easily make a bunch of these worksheets to sell on Teachers Pay Teachers, Etsy, or Amazon to, to make, create a workbook. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to be part of the Crafty family. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give us a comment of what you want to see next. Well, have a great day. Goodbye!